Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I just wanted to do a quick video on a couple of quick tips on these motors. One um, is most screwdrivers that have removable blades are all the same size. The nice thing about these is they fit the nuts on Mark's motors perfectly. So a great tip for uh, tightening these. You don't have to uh, mess around with a pair of pliers or a tiny wrench. You can just do it with a screwdriver. It works really well. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was talk about cleaning these wheels. Now, as you see, this is a pre-war motor. And uh, I picked this up someplace on eBay. Didn't run. And, uh, I mean, and this thing didn't run at all. It was completely dead. And you put power to it and it just sat there and laughed at you. Uh, so I did the bypass, the E unit bypass, bang, this thing came back to life. And uh, so while I've got it out, uh, I always clean them up and lube them and tune them and uh, look for nicks and gouges in these wheels. And you'll always find them. And if you stop them, they won't continue to uh, deteriorate. These wheels are made of pot metal. There's a phenomenon of pot metal called intergranular degeneration. And uh, pot metal is made of two dissimilar metals. And any two dissimilar metals that are immersed in a liquid form a battery. And what happens is over the years, moisture seeps into the pot metal. And this uh, chemical reaction begins where it begins to actually destroy itself. And it begins to turn to power, powder, crack, and the edges and corners and uh, anything sticking up begins to get ground away or uh, begins to leave a notch. So if you don't prevent that, it'll continue to uh, deteriorate. So what I use is these. This says, the happiest girls always have the prettiest nails, onyx. I found these at the dollar store and what they are are little tiny disposable emery boards but they don't leave uh, any great amount of residue and they're fairly rough this is about I don't know 400 grit sandpaper something like that so you can hear it you know it's made for filing nails and it files them really quickly as you can see anyway these are perfect for touching up the edges of these wheels and whenever you see electrolysis and you see uh, this intergranular degeneration, if the uh, wheel is beginning to get notched or ragged on the edge, all you have to do is go around it a few times with this emery board and it puts a nice smooth edge back on it. You can repair some pretty damaged wheels doing this. Um, you'll find them that uh, have small gouges and notches out of them. And a few minutes with this thing, and uh, or a small file for that matter. Just the nice thing about this is they're disposable. You, know, you get a box full of them for a dollar. And you use them for doing all kinds of things. Rust on the side rods. You can just polish it away. If uh, you have rust on the engine, you want to get it off quick. A drop of oil, scratch it away. It works. So I use these for all kinds of small things like this. Uh, you get a uh, really corroded wire. It's really easy. Just go zip, 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 and you're down to bare copper again. So they come in really handy. And uh, I use them in place of sandpaper uh, simply because they're disposable, they're small, they're rigid. You can get into really small, tight spaces with them. And uh, they're surprisingly long live. And you can... Uh, wear it out but uh, there's lots of surface here and it's all coated with this oxide and it's uh, actually quite sharp so anyway I just want to do a quick video on these things and the tip about the the screwdriver fitting the uh, the nuts for the brush plate so they're really simple to tighten them up and you don't need a separate wrench you can just do it with your screwdriver anyway I just wanted to do a video as always if you have any questions feel free to drop an email benstrains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching